my invisible friends hello and welcome back to our fourth and last video in this mini series dedicated to the introduction of electric and electronic filters this one is about scaling and filters cookbooks over more than 70 years lots of filter topologies have been developed and tested most of those topologies have found their ways into paper-bound books, filter cookbooks that you can either buy at bookstores or on the internet. But we still need to modify those filters so they match our needs for the particular design. How do we do that? Scaling. This is what we do today. Scaling and recipes. Filter topologies that we find in filter cookbooks, they need to be scaled. Think of this uh, situation in a kitchen. A recipe in a cookbook may read something like this. This recipe's ingredients serves eight portions. But the reality is that we have 20 guests or perhaps only two. What do we do in this case? You know the answer. We scale ingredients list up or down according to our needs. That's what we do. We do something similar to filter cookbook's values. The cutoff frequency of those filters in the cookbook is either one radiance per second or sometimes one hertz. We need to scale them up. And also, they are given with one ohm resistors sometimes or with one farad capacitor some other times. We need to fix that and scale that and adapt that to our needs. This uh, conversation about scaling uh, brings to mind some very old memory that I have. When I was a child, I read uh, this puzzle, this scaling puzzle, written by another child, a little bit older than I was at the time. Isaac Asimov wrote that when he was 17. I was nine. One and a half chicken. If you tell me there is no such a thing as half a chicken, well, this is statistically speaking maybe there were a thousand chicken but when we we reduce the, the the numbers statistically we say one and a half chicken lay one and a half eggs in one and a half days how many eggs will nine chicken lay in nine days this is a perfect example of scaling you say well if one and a half chicken lay one and a half eggs in one and a half days, if I double the number of chicken, but I leave the time the same, I will double the number of eggs. I say three chicken will lay three eggs in one and a half days. If now I double the number of days to three days, I say if three chicken will lay six eggs in three days. And I can go on until I find the answer to this question. Scaling, eh? Let's say that somehow the filter that we found in the cookbook has the right frequency response, but with corners and the wrong frequencies. If only we could slide that plot towards the right, towards higher frequencies, or perhaps to the left to lower frequencies. The truth is that we, we can. In frequency, we want the same impedances of every element happening at a higher frequency. Let's say at a frequency that is kf, times the original frequency, two times higher, a hundred times higher, a thousand, ten thousand times higher than the original frequency. We need new values for the inductances and for the capacitances. What about resistors? No, not for them, not for them, because the resistors will keep the same impedance at any frequency. Oh, but we know what's going to happen. We want the same impedance of an inductor at a higher frequency. Well, if we're going to multiply the frequency by kf, we need to divide the inductance by kf. That is what we do. The same applies to capacitors. If we need to keep the same impedance of the capacitor at a higher frequency, we're going to increase the frequency by a factor kf. We need to divide the capacitance by the same factor kf. That is how we scale inductors and capacitors if we're shifting the frequency, if we're changing the corner frequencies by a factor kf. That's how it's done. But that is not the only thing we can do. Let's say that now we're happy with a frequency response. Same as before. Um, but we find that our components, is, uh, our components are either too small or too big. What do we do? 
Well, we want to scale up or down the values of the components, but without changing the frequency response. This is what we do. We want to multiply all impedances by a factor km. Is it possible? Yes, it is. It is easy to show that if in a circuit that has only voltage sources, no current sources, only voltage sources, which is the case of filters anyway, we multiply all impedances by a factor 10 or 100 or 1000, all of them by the same factor km. The voltages in each element are not going to change. The currents will change, but not the voltages. So that is the trick. We want to multiply all impedances by a factor km. So we multiply the resistors by the factor km, multiply inductors by the factor km, but capacitors, because the capacitance is in the denominator of the impedance of the capacitor, we need to divide the capacitor by km. So that is the plan. The implication is when we're scaling the magnitude, multiply resistors by km. Multiply inductors by Km, the magnitude factor, and divide capacitors by Km. The frequency remains the same in this operation. We combine those two forms of scaling into, into these consolidated formulas. I prefer to write them like this. This is my way of writing. The new resistor is the old resistor multiplied by the magnitude coefficient Km. The new frequency is for for corner frequencies, for bandwidth, for half power frequencies, is the old frequency multiplied by the frequency factor Kf. And inductors and capacitors are modified in this way. Easy. We need to memorize those few formulas. Not too hard. Now to total time. Scale this filter so that the corner frequency is 5000 radians per sec and so that we can use 5 kilo ohms resistors instead of the resistors that you see in the circuit, 10 kilo ohms. What should be the values of the capacitances? Well, Km is already given. The resistors were 10,000 ohms, and now they're going to be 5,000 ohms. Km is 0 0.5. But what is Kf? I don't know. I don't know. If only I knew what is the corner frequency of that circuit, then with that one and five kilo radians per second, I could find Kf. And with Kf and Km, I could modify the capacitors. Let's go and find Kf. And for that, I need to know what is the corner frequency of the circuit as it is right now before scaling. And for that, we need the transfer function. Before I go any further, let me divide numerator and denominator of the transfer function by 121, like so. And then I find the roots of the denominator the poles, and lo and behold, is that this transfer function has a double pole at 454 radians per second. We can write that function like that. We look at that and immediately we realize, hey, that circuit's body plot will start from the left with a positive slope of 40 decibels per decade up to the frequency 454 radians per second, at which I introduce a negative slope of 40 decibels per decade. Negative, right? So that is a high pass filter. It will go climbing up at 40 decibels per decade up to 454. And there I go flat. Look, you don't believe me. Plot it like so. And you say, yeah, that is a high pass filter. And the corner is at 454. Nice. Now we can find KF. We know what is uh, the original corner, omega naught 454. Kf is a new frequency, 5000, divided by the old frequency, 454. That is 11. Now we know Kf, 11. We have Km, 0 0.5. The new capacitance is 220 nanofarads. Nano is 10 to the negative 9. 220 nanofarads divided by Kf and Km. That is 40 nanofarads. And that is the answer. Another one. Yeah, another one, sure. This one, more scaling. We saw this circuit before in another video of this series. The one on the left, we determined that that is a bandpass filter and we learned what was the center frequency. It was one radians per second. The bandwidth was 2.236 radians per second and the quality factor was 0.4472. I believe it was the, the last video before this one. 
Now, on the right, we have the same circuit once it has been scaled. What is the new center frequency? What is the new bandwidth? And what is the new Q, the quality factor? Well, Km is emitted. You say, hey, I go from 1 ohm to 2 kilo ohms. Km is 2,000. You say, yeah, but um, I need Kf because Kf will allow me to multiply the center frequency. 1 by Kf, that will be the new center frequency. I multiply the old bandwidth, 2, 2, 3, 6, and by Kf, and I get the new bandwidth. How do I find Kf? Well, I don't know Kf, but I know Km, and I have the change of capacitors between 1 and 150. That gives me an equation. Look, look. My equation is that the new value of the capacitor, 150 nanofarads, a nano is 10 to the negative 9. 150 nanofarads is the old value, 1 farad divided by Km and Kf, and Km is already 2000. The equation has only one unknown, Kf. I solve for it, I get that Kf is 3333. With that, I multiply the old values, and I get the new center frequency, the new bandwidth. The quality factor is the same. Before we call it a night, I leave a few exercises for you to practice at home. The circuit below is a passive low pass filter. A. What is the cutoff frequency? They are not giving us a max, so they mean the approximate cutoff frequency, the corner frequency. What is the cutoff frequency? B. What is the order of this filter? Uh, well, I can tell you that that is first order. It has only one reactive element. Part C. If we are okay with the cutoff frequency, whatever it is, but we would like to use a smaller capacitor, let's say 75 microfarads. Micro is 10 to the negative 6. What would be the value of the resistor in ohms? D. After the scaling of part C, we want now to shift the cutoff frequency from whatever we found to 10,000 hertz, 10 kilohertz. Observe, these are not 10 kilo radians per second. These are 10 kilohertz. There is a factor of 2 pi there. What should be the value of the resistor now? And what should be the value of the capacitor in farads? Well, here are the answers so that you can practice that at home and compare your answers to these ones. And with that, my students, I think we're done with this very short series, the introduction to electric and electronic filters. Thank you very much for your company in these four videos, and I hope you do well in the midterm in a few days. I really, really do. Have a good night.